Hi all, welcome. Today is a video about another episode, just coding, nothing new features, but I will do a second video uh, with new features in a bit. Um, today is about a cool new tool I was able to apply onto the project and I got a tip for that. So it's not my own finding, but um, a good friend of mine just um, yeah showed this tool to me and it's absolutely awesome. Uh, let me tell you about what it is. It's it's called task file. Um, you can look it up. It's um, openly available. And what's the purpose of this task file? Task file is a um, executable you could you can put into your path variable or directory, and then you can execute task file, and it serves you as a cookbook of your commands that you don't have to remember them all one by one, right? So this is the purpose of it. Well, it's one purpose. I did read through all this, but um, yeah. You can see, for example, here you have this task file and then you have tasks and one is, for example, build. And here the commands are like this. So it executes just a go build here. And um, yeah, so why use this? Um, see how I was doing it. I had my readme file and for example, for the test runs, I had to just put in um, the command because I was forgetting about it. So I put it into readme. It's doable, but it's not a nice way of doing it because, well, here's just one command, but just imagine how many commands are there. And uh, you want to have that being changeable in the future rather easily. And good, structured, documented, like all this. You cannot have that with the readme file. You can, but it's not, it's not, you have to put a lot more um, invest into it. And also it's not the right place if you're being precise. So uh, task file, how to do it? It's rather simple. It's rather simple. So you just download this uh, executable. Oh, look. Um, well, first of all, if you go to installation and then you're looking for Windows, because I'm on Windows here, and then it tells you to, oh, you have to get chocolately, chocol, chocolately, chocolately. <laughs> and if you get this, it's just a simple command. It's like a, a Windows package manager. Maybe it's also a good thing to look into this, but I don't have it installed on this system. So I was not able to do this unless I wanted to install it, but there's an easier way. Um, there's somewhere here, get the binary. Um, and I think it just points you to the releases page on GitHub, that you're back on GitHub here. And then you just use the executable, whatever is suitable for your system. For me, that was um, Windows AMD 64. Downloaded this, put it into my um, C folder, um, changed the environment variables. That's a big one. So you have to set your environment variable to also include the path to this directory that you can execute it. And it looks like this. So if you just put a CMD window here and then just type task, and there should be something, not like unknown command, but you see no task file found, so it can recognize this. So if that's not the case, your environment variable is uh, not set up. All right, um, now how to deal with it, right? So here we are again. And um, what I did to implement this on, the, on this project, you can look in the Git graph. Um, it was exactly this commit, implementing task. So I just created a task file. And you see here that I put some commands in here. So, and also thanks to my good friend here, because I looked most of the code up from from his pod project, so, <laughs> so yeah, greetings going out. No, um, those commands are adapted to match this project. So I, I never tested that on a new system, but you can install the dependencies and stuff like that um, with just a simple command. So as I said, you have task here, and then for example, setup, you just can put in task setup and it will automatically execute all those commands. That's nice, right? Uh, but also format, linting, build and testing is implemented. So you can see how it's working here. But pay in mind that all those commands do have to be executed not in the virtual environment. Like if you if you set it up like I have here and you have a terminal, 
um, then most likely you will be in this um, in this virtual environment, which is a good thing because here the Python uh, minus m la 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 uh, works, right? So for example, if you want to um, work with the program, you have this scheme. Um, I think it's main and then dash dash help, for example. Yeah, so this works here, but this does not work without the environment. So if I deactivate the environment, it's just simple deactivate for our portrait here. So you're now not anymore in the environment and just simply if you execute the command, no module found. But if you are in this virtual environment and I also, I have to fix this because Conda is interfering uh, with, with my, with my default interpreter here. But if you are here, you will not be able to task. Um, your task commands will not work here. Yeah, fail to run task format. No module named poetry, right? Because, well, you could make this work to just use the virtual environment by adapting it here task file so you would have to skip all those python minus m commands if you delete all those it works all in just in the virtual environment but we don't want that um we want it to be able without any prior environment setup to be able to execute all the commands so let's see about that deactivate so i'm back without any virtual environment and i can just task for example task task test right i want to test my uh, project in the current state. And I know what's coming out, so it's all good. No, it's not really good. So any professional uh, programmer will beat the shit out of me because I just have a 79% coverage and even files with 0% coverage. That's not a good thing at all. Um, but it's okay, all the tests passed. Uh, passed. Well, let's take a linting, like um, C, uh, let's see if I switch back to GitHub again. This is also pretty interesting, I've, in my opinion. Like, um, if you go here to your project, right? We in the last video, I think I uh, talked a little bit about it. Um, you have this uh, pipes or DevOps chain, which is executed whenever you push a commit, and if you have your commits here. And you see that, for example, this commit didn't pass. Why did it not pass? Well, the linting failed. And why did it fail? Because I was lazy or uh, ignorant and did not execute the linting on my system before pushing it onto the Git. So that was an error by myself. But see here, now I'm a little bit smarter now. I just type in task lint. And this will check my code now with the exact same commands, like put it, put it here, lint. Like it does a poetry run black, like a formatter, it checks with flake eight and do, does the linting finally. And you see it's doing the linting still. And then you get a score, which is in this case, 10 out of 10. And now if I'm now pushing it in this state, I'm pretty certain it will also pass on the git. So this is the, the thing. And this is task file makes it really easy to do such things. And you can imagine that you can build or uh, set up new commands here as well. So what I have to do now is to find a new system system or de deinstall everything and just test the install command, the setup command, because that should um, install a poetry, install a uh, the, the dependencies for your for this project, and then you could use it with task. So this is the whole point. And this concludes also this video. So it was just a, a short shout out um, to Taskfile, what it is, what it can do. And it's just simply set up by having the executable in your path directory and having a task file like I do here. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, if you have any questions about Taskfile or the general process here, feel free to ask. I know it's not a typical kind of stuff you will uh, you would expect on, on this channel and I will return back to the features pretty soon uh, but I think it's also necessary to yeah to, to just put a light on also the, the coding stuff as well because um, after all that's what's the heart of this program so 
I think it's it's quite important. All right, thanks all, and see you later. Bye guys.